I don't think she'd be fun then, Squinty. We're gonna find you some good stuff. The walls of the store are packed with posters, artwork, stickers, and records. A few people mill about, flipping through milk crates of albums. Some indie band is playing through the speakers. It's a nice vibe. So, why do people hear me out of Rick Yards? You need to get on your own, you need to get on your point. There's a lot of people who are trying to tell you that vinyl sounds warmer or more drooling in the audience on TM. <laughs> but, really, I think it's just nice to collect records. It's cool that in this day and age, we can have just about every song ever created available instantaneously on our phones. But there's something about holding an album and getting to see the artwork in your hands that I always love. That's why I try to get as many record, as many of the records that I love in physical form as possible. <clears throat> Remember when we were kids, we had to wait around by the radio with the cassette tapes so that we could record our VVG songs. It made each listen really special, and the mixtapes were even cooler because of how much work they took. Yeah, you need me to go play this. And the last time you gave me a real mixtape, I was in high school. Look around the multi-level. Record Studio put some genres, Future Wave, Jungle, Anarcho Pop, Non Sportation. I have no idea where to even start. Yeah, easy to lean over wheel me on. Here, let me find something you might like. If you were a milkshake, what flavor would you be? Hey. <laughs> if you can only be one type of candy thing, what would you be? Jesus fucking Christ. Hey. When you remember your name be in line? When you remember your name be in line? Uh. What's your idea? <coughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> What? You need my darkest fear. Uh. Oh, I know just the thing. Matt runs over to the other end of the store and returns holding a record behind his back. He shows it to me. This is how to be. This is how to be a human being by glass animals. Their first album is fire, but they kind of tried out some different stuff on this one, and I can respect that. It's really good. I think you'll like it a lot. Weird, <clears throat> You're gonna have a great time with it, promise. Why not I bring her a record to the cash register? A young girl with a septum ring and a buzz cut stands on the counter with one ear buddy in. Usual stuff today, Matt. Just, <clears throat> just, um, you can show him night ping ups. And that's her own fucking voice. Matt places three albums on the counter. Swear to, swear I'm good by this, at this by Diet Sig, Forever by Mystery School, Skulls, <laughs> Greatest Hits by Remo Drive, tight. Can you read your back? I have a good album, and I'm dead. I need to be stupid. Who's the nerd? That nerd is my buddy Blorb. Blorb, th this beacon of human charm is Molly. I got kicked out of art school for destroying my paintings at the end of every critique. I, I know a guy who got kicked out of art school. Things didn't end well after that. Yeah, me on you, me on you. Anyway, Matt is the mo open mic night still on. You know it. Yeah. <clears throat> on the third wave, is gonna do special acoustic performance. I might see if I can get a few of the girls together. And yeah, me on you, me on me on you, me on you. 
Yeah, no, we do it every month at the Goblin's Moon. Some amazing talent always comes through. Got a flyer for it right here. You want a man, yeah, she'll come by then, yeah. Matt blushes. I mean, if you're not doing anything. <coughs> we all me again, we all mean thing. I finished paying for the record and we head out to the store. <coughs> Meon, why didn't you want me on me? Meon, I mean, you know, we can jump like that. She made a coffee drink. I don't even mean it. It didn't it drain to think of all those weird little musical memories. I don't even mean. Well, I think music in a very time and place when you have me young. <coughs> young is important to me. Not only that a young is sound good, but, uh, but where I was and what I was doing when listening to it. <coughs> that music that reminds me of exes, of struggling through school, of being so poor I didn't know where my next meal was coming from. And that's enough, and listening to those songs remind me of those moments of my life. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even your mom going to Amanda made me think her new and you guys don't me. I mean, I'm already a man in the man, but hearing your songs on your radio reminds me of how young and united a man you are. You even remind me of a young old me. I'm going to see my favorite me on and going to run into my, all my friends on. I was going to the, my friend Cynthia, child me on the house in your hand, and walk me on in your basement like we were so young. A parent definitely knew what we were doing. When? When the last time you walked me on? That stops the thing. It's been decades. You know what me do. When you even get money now? Is anyone gets on the news? I don't know. But I bet I could work this damn cash register better than you. You want to get high and listen to our new records? <laughs> yeah, of course I do. Matt pulls out his phone and starts texting. After a few minutes, he looks inside of me. Uh, Molly and got a hearing up. Says to meet in an alley near the coffee shop. Man, this is about sketchy as fuck. Oh, yeah, if this goes down in your hand, you make a break right now, thanks to the heat. You probably know you want to be in there like you and your own. <sighs> you realize that weed has been legalized in this state, right? Oh, uh, yeah, do you mean you know that? Then why are we buying it behind a back fucking alley, not in a dispensary? <laughs> Well, we live in danger and not. You know what lurks in the seedy underbelly here in Maple Bay. We find ourselves in the wrong give a deal. Gone bad. You look out for me and you. I swear. Oh, here's our guy. Nasty grease dump shrouded in darkness. The lean figure dressed in all black. Um, excuse me, Mr. Wrong Man. <laughs> it's a Lucy thing. Who sent you? We are cool, man. We're cool. Says who? For all I know, you could be with the feds. Actually, we need to prove you're cool. What? I need to know that you're down or I bolt. Uh, yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, okay, apparently he liked it. Seen this in cop films before. I lift up my shirt to prove I'm not wearing a wire. Ho ho, I'm a white man. Ho ho, cheeseburger. Oh Jesus, please put that away. Please. Look, it's fine, I get it. Buzz Cop Molly said you were coming. Formality, you run away, you make a deal. Sigh, alright, how much do you want? One. One what? Yeah. It means we, Lucian. He means we. Yeah, but how much? Uh -huh. One. Oh my god, look here. Take this and give me ten dollars. Just don't tell my dad. Let's all forget this ever happened. I'll tell your dad if you don't. 
baggie of something disappears down the alley. You have to open it. Take, it smells like genuine drugs. <laughs> yes, sir. You, what you want to bet these fuckers just got given not drugs? He just scammed their asses. That went smoothly. Calling it now. These guys got fucking scammed. Yeah, we can get off on bumming Robert in the hole. Yes. Great idea. Let's head back to my place, yeah. Man, I walk into our cul-de-sac and stop at the gas station on the way to buy rolling papers and soda. I feel like I'm 16 again. Hmm. Carmen's in on here. <coughs> Carmen. <laughs> Carmen's. Carmen's in on having a newborn. That's wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna tear my skin off. <coughs> Squiddy, Carmen Gina is having a sleepover tonight. So let me just all the time we need to do drugs and work this damn cash register. That Squidward voice is trash. On you, you do your job. I pull that one and put a prop down on a couple of couch and look around. There's a bunch of band posters on the wall, and he's like, takes up an entire wall. Wow, what a galangian. Been collecting my whole life. It was nice to finally get them all in one place. After being on the road so much of my life, I had to ask my parents to hold on to them for me. Matt sits down next to me, and we lay the marijuana drugs out on the coffee table. Uh, do you want to do the honors? Please, in your house. If you say so. I pulls out and sprinkles some of the beatnik tobacco onto a piece. He starts rolling back and forth and almost breaks his feeling all day. Never a wise new one in the ass. They have a really nice looking weed cigarette. He hands me the lighter and the blonde, I think, and I take it. Well, let's. You know, you know, you Let the joint inhale deeply. This is not what I remembered. It's been a while, though. Maybe pot drugs have just gotten more pertinent to the Yeah, cough a little bit. Should it sting this much, or am I just a baby? How's it go away? That's not weed. <laughs> I fucking called it. These bad, these, oh god, do we develop a taste for meth? No, no, it's... Yeah, this is oregano. I sniff the air. That would definitely come what smells like a pizza place in here. I was right, these fuckers got scammed. off. <laughs> Oh well, we can still relax and enjoy the music sober, you know. You know what you're it. Then the diet's it, which is catchy as hell. I look around the room. I love what Here's that. Ow. Oh, Squiddy, that's Rosa. She has Carmen Sinatra's mother. She died when Carmen Sinatra was young. Jerry, did you hear the act? You mean on your large alley? You need to get a new. I didn't understand how hard you must be on. But hold me as hell, bozo. Look around again, spotting a frame gig poster hanging from the onlet. Man, Rosa surrounded by stillness of the dancing. They played this song over a decade ago. You two in a band together? Yeah. Then you. <clears throat> yeah. That was the reason I was touring so much when I was younger. Drove the whole country in this rinky dink little van. It's hard to start, but once we started gaining notoriety and seeing how much I was talking about, it was just incredible. Wow. Nigga's. Like in life, some people only know. It was, and it was a difficult time. 
the same time. I couldn't have done it without someone by my side. Rosa and I knew that we could do it forever. The long hours on the road, missing your family, sleeping in the van, all that stuff. So once we became pregnant with Carmen, Carmen Cinco, we put down our roots in our favorite town to play in, right here. Singing ones are neon, Rosa always in the dream. She wanted a little client coming up in a neon before an omen. Yeah, me, she wants to me. Alright, this is kind of sad. You know me. Not really sure what to say. I couldn't possibly kill them towns to be the same thing after Alex died. When I got up to the next to the turntable, and it was the dusty piano. Do you want your piano? Yeah, I'm a little pinocchio. Yeah. I used to damn on the keys back in the day. This only. Ow, I've hurt myself. Pain, suffering. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, I'm the only human peace goblin in an eagle rock behind one you over. No way. You want a scar phase? Me and 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 me me and 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 Sit down at the piano! Stick to your ska roots! Hey, I think I'm you. I think I'm you and I'm man. Oh, wait, that was just smoke on water. You don't ever know that for me. The neat purple is always appreciated on the list. <coughs> Alright, me and you. Can you do me yet? Uh. I uh, shouldn't. Oh, can you me on? No, I'm. It's been a long time. Yeah, you know that you have been a bad member. If you prefer to smoke on you, how much more are you getting me? Okay. Oh, hello, eggplants. I'm, uh, okay. He breathes in and plays melody. I would never have guessed it. Most huge mind of hers is one of his original works. This is so cool. My finished song finally opens his eyes. You know what I mean? And that was, I'm yet young. Oh, it's nothing, Squiddy. Let me on, man. You was a healer. You gonna pull that out with the open mind yet? Oh, no. I never played the those. Well, why not? You're really good. Yes, yes, I don't do it anymore. You just know that I'm being on there. The Lord, I mean, when you people are near me, I don't feel bad anymore. I thought of it, I won't push him any further. Why the fuck not? It'd be funny, mate. Alright, man. But I hope you know I'm being on you. Thanks. <laughs> Matt and I listen to more records until it gets inside and need to go to bed. My walk speed to the door. We gonna fuck? Come on. Hold me in your big sexy arms so we can make sweet, sweet man love. Let me have a deal on you about New York, okay? Yeah, wait, can you not tell me a joke, you're a new. You don't need any healthy things you're smoking or right in your hand. I think we'll be fine, you fucking loser. Night, dude. I smile. Yeah. Damn it, we should have had sweet, sweet man sex. Walk inside, it is dark, saving him coming from beneath the main busy door. Now, in interview, she's sitting at her desk with camera, editing the photos. You know me, and your man is sort of slumps down. What smells, what smells like a pizza pie? You want me on you? You are hungry. Dad, I'm hungry. Wait, no. Yeah, hungry? No. I'm dead! <laughs> Insert laugh track here that I'm definitely not gonna do. Manda collapses on the floor. I promise I'd never let it come to this. You're a you know, you're a you're a monster. 
One you begin here. Yes, please. Do damn bad, stupid. <laughs> Man, did I boil your pasta and heat up sauce in a pan on no. When I, when I boil pasta and heat up sauce while Amanda watches, it's fine, my bet I'm not able to set it on fire. How was record collecting? You are great. You mean I'm beyond? No way. Was he good? He played for. He played piano for you? Dude, he wants to fuck you. Yeah. I'm grown up and you're playing the open mic night and it's happening in your coffee shop. But he got kind of weird to me on it. Hey, I saw a fly for that. We should go. You know, I knew like, you know, I've wandered around your mind randomly on a couple new there. Yeah, let me break out my glockenspiel. I only know hot cross buns. We can work off the chord progression. If I, li if I was into music at all, this would be funny. Look at that fucking bird. And that guy still hasn't broken my house and took that bird. I got the fucking Xbox 360 controller. Amanda and I have a nice dinner before she goes back to her room to do some photography stuff. I end up watching True Life. I'm a house hunter. Ah, I fucking skipped one. Damn it. Matt's song stuck in my head all night. Nothing can beat reading in print. Date complete. Think I gotta use a sword? Hey. What a hell of a date. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fuck both of you. I wanna fuck Matt. Yeah! What? Is that not full? Oh, it is. We fucking tonight! No, Yeah, who else? I'm trying to fuck Matt. I don't want to fuck no one else but Matt. One of his big, <laughs> big muscular man hands on my soft little man body. What the fuck am I saying? Man, I spend a lot of ticket time together lately. I hope we get to fuck soon. After we went record shopping the first time, it sort of became a weekly tradition. Let's scope out old vinyl. Vinyl Fantasy 7. For new releases. On quieter days, I look at him just hang out with him. That's gay. That's just the fucking point. Me. Good fucking narration, Blorb. He's been trying to get me to branch out from my usual black coffee to try new drinks. And they're always delicious. Oh, I only like my coffee black. Just like you, Matt, baby. Husband. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you, Matt. <laughs> Since I've been spending so much time with Matt, Car Carmen Sita and Amanda have become really close friends. Amanda's taking Carmen Sita under her wing, teaching her about photography, helping her with homework, and introducing her to music. That's just that's not just boy bands. <laughs> Well, she didn't end up taking one of her, those those Scream Cry Dancing Boy concerts so Matt wouldn't have to go. A truly heroic move. I can tell that Carmen C really looks up to her a lot. Scare the Amanda's trying to be a good mentor. The open mic night is tonight. Amanda and I are busy ourselves to get ready. I've tried to put on a nicer outfit than usual and pace around the room. A bunch of really cool bands are going to be playing and I'm excited to see them. I haven't been to a show since the first time Matt and I hung out. It's weird. Ever since Matt played the piano for me once, I've never been able to convince him to do it again. He's told me that he also plays guitar, drums, and even the fucking trumpet. He still won't play any of them for me. I'll kill him. I'll kill his ass. I'll fucking murder him while he sleeps. Hope the bot don't pick that up. <laughs> Someone's so passionate about music and so fucking handsome. It's strange that he doesn't want to actually play it. You ready to go, Pops? Near Amanda in the hallway, she approaches my room. Yup! Man and I pops her head and looks me over. She pinches the bridge of her nose. Dad, we talked about this. What? The sandals. They're older than I am, you old fuck. It ain't the 70s no more. Me and Dion just some would argue. Touch through them out. Your man, you see, we need you in Rome. And your man, you on pony, you on candy, you know. I got kicked out because I was loose candy and didn't play the rules. For example, you're not allowed to mix fours, but you can totally do it if you have a good eye for color. You're out of your jurisdiction. You're out of your jurisdiction. Man, and I guard the door until I pick a better outfit. Stop! Those sandals are going directly into the evidence locker. When you. It's the trash. Hey. 
Fine, but you're committing a hand and just sort of find you one day. Come on, Dad, we've gotta go. I've never seen the coffee shops. So packed. I spot familiar faces from the pup concert, all sipping on their caffeinated beverages of court choice. Alright, I'm done with that. Barb! I'm trying to see Hugo sitting on the table with, no, with none other than Damien. Hey, your fucking shit eating son didn't sell me weed. Tell him I'm gonna fucking murder his ass. Tell him I want my 10 bucks back. I am, as you know, a dedicated patron of the arts. By that I mean I'm a gay. It's been a quarter of a big It's a bit of a tradition between me and Damien. <laughs> right now, Matt's open mic nights always seem to bring out the best talent in the fucking town. Sometimes, sometimes it gets a bit odd, even for my admittedly eloquent tastes. You around, you me out of around. Yeah, I was just helping the Pablo kid get some equipment out of his fucking van. Oh, ringing real when you ringing you. What? What the fuck are you saying to me? Yeah, we down. Damien's ears perk. What is that? Yeah, don't know. Well, it sounds delightful. Amanda, you mean young alien? Shame. Alright, I'm gonna win, man. You even need the new. I did a back room in the coffee shop where I found Matt going on so details with Pablo. My dude! Pablo and I share a full on sincere bro hug. Man, you win, man. Norm. I'm just going around. When wouldn't you have one yet? You need any help? You need help holding your beer for you. They're being free at chalk, man. <laughs> uh, I think we're all set. Pablo, can you remind me what order people are going up in? Well, we got the handsome and unforgettable Vacant Veil vale open opening up the set with the selection from his new album, Rich Diaries, and then the third way is extremely attractive and could beat me up, and I still think, and I'd still be into it, are uh, playing a three-person acoustic set. We got a, a little bit of spoken word in there, a magic art, and then it looks like we're closing with Jonathan Jones and the Speakeasy Choir. No, absolutely not. I'm gonna put up and I open the top. Sometimes when it's quiet, I can hear the sound of the. <laughs> Finally, thought it's the <laughs> It weren't that bad. You know, you don't understand. The the last time, the last time they played open mic night, they lit their bassist on fire, and then the more fire marks are shut us down. They also refused to pay for their drinks. Yikes! They're not playing tonight. Well, they're on there. I know seventeen on the um. Why am I doing a voice for him? Tell them we're full. And you was me think you right, Mr. Man. Uh. Oh, do it. Oh. Yeah, I'll play. What are you doing? Wh what? What would you even do? All you do is work the cash register, you stupid bitch. Stop talking. Close your mouth. <laughs> this guy me is man, you mean you when you gotta come back, you know, you know. I thought you didn't know how to play anymore. You don't know how to play anything anymore. What in God's name was that? <laughs> so yeah, whatever that says. Stop being so desperate to please your hot foreign blurb. You never be more in your own. Your unending thirst will be your ultimate downfall. I give no fucks. Yeah, I have one right here. You know, you know, one. No, are you sure? No, I'm not. 
and you are you are you playing with staccato notes on the beat. <clears throat> well, it's not as nothing, or as long as nothing is shown on file, it can't possibly be worse than Jonathan Jones and Speedy Wire. My girl then stares into my eyes. Thank you, more, I owe you big time. Good, we're gonna have hot man sex after this is over. Settle back into my seat with Amanda and watch the show start. The house is packed now with a few people even saying, What have I gotten myself into? Amanda, me, Amanda, me, Jake. Told you some sandals were a bad choice. You know that. I ain't going to pull out my skull. No. Absolutely not. What in the CIA mind trick is that? You're not even on me yet. Dad, I love you and I support you, but we left skull behind for a reason. We? Oui, you speaking French? Look, and you and the other one is passing over for a group of 20 meters and all crying at the same time for some of the you want. I'm not being hyperbolic about these fashion things. They literally hand me out three on jewels. Somehow, this is the preferable option. I just have to play the thing. Play play what thing? You don't know how to play any instruments. You promise you won't love me after this. I promise. But I may have to change my last name and hope you'll understand. My little nice thing is gonna be fire blast. You me and you. Or maybe or maybe cold still. Matt takes stage we probably he grabs the mic and addresses us all. Oh uh, thank you everyone for coming out. This is robot Matt. Matt's so nervous. And I'm so nervous. <laughs> Can't stop staring at his mouth and that makes me even more nervous. Why are you thinking about him sucking on my big fucking long man cock? <laughs> We have a gym packed. Ross, you're an amazing local talent. You might already know, or maybe seen, or maybe I've seen before. But would like to see again, and I'm rambling now. Sorry. You all me up. <laughs> so um, let me just bring on a deal for you. You're making this like, be welcome to Snave. Breaking it round. Crowd shields are gonna bounce. He's beaming. He sets up his two and even launches into a set. Thank you, everyone. This is the one called Witch House Never Dies, and you're next. It's got a heavy in excellent synth we layered under drum sound clips of science played in reverse. So we're not even right, but everyone seems to be enjoying whatever this is. At the end of the song, Pablo jumps onto the mic. Thank you all to the Veil Warriors who came out to the, tonight. Push another crane. He has a fan base already, he has a name for the fan base. This is his first live show. My t shirt's out of the trunk in my car after the show. I'd like to thank my mom for coming out to watch you. You're my rock mom. Love ya, honey. Pablo plays a few more songs. I actually super fun to listen. Wow. Definitely did not see that coming, especially after being strongly worried with thoughts about the genre. Once he's done, he vacates the stage and Matt jumps back up again. Big round of applause for our very own Pablo, because the new works here. Yeah, Pablo. And hey, um. Next up, our good young lady has been tearing up the East Coast with Riot Punk for three years now. Three years. I mean years. Three years. Sorry, the writing on my hands smudged because I'm sweating. I shouldn't have told you I'm sweating. I'm sorry. Oh, wow. We seem just in the foot right now. We're going to get her for the third waves. Buzz cut Molly from Vinyl Fantasy. I'm not reading that name ever again. Takes stage followed by two girls with colorful hair and fishnet stockings. All of them wearing combat boots and they all look mad about something. So energetic and it seems like a pit is going to open up in the coffee shop. I look over and the man who's clean during the hell of this anarchic female fronted parker, punk rock. Dad, can I get a lip ring? You know what? You ain't warning yourself. Come on, it's no fun if it's not an act of youthful rebellion. After the third wave closes out their set, a variety of acts play us into the light and somewhat horror of the crowd. The magician turns a cup into a cup of coffee into a cup of coins and ends up spilling hot all over himself and dropping the coins. That's pretty funny. Three Jack leaves the stage. I get up more and more nervous. There are so many people here. You see, it would help if when he burned himself, someone threw a match on him, caught his ass on fire, and then he ran out the stage screaming. Now that would have been comedy fucking gold. But I guess a fire marshal will just shut him down again. Know anything about how to play the piano other than it has keys and you have, and you have to touch the keys to make sound. Also, I almost spilled the flat white stripes on my hand because I'm trembling so much. 
No, no joke, Dad. I'm rooting for you. You're gonna knock him dead. Young me on you, me on you. An improv comedy group takes time. I think it's a crowd. I'm doing a scene. It's supposed to be about coffee, but instead, doing five minutes of dick jokes. Classic. I have a hard time laughing. Not so much time tying itself in the knots. Not just regular knots either. Like the kind of knots you get when you throw your phone charger, earbuds, and laptop charger in the same bag. Out of nowhere, Matt sits down next to me. Yay, are you going over here? Everything is great! I want to assure him that I'm okay, but I can just can't get the words out. Yeah, I'm here. <clears throat> Alright, just making sure. I knew we were gonna do great, Lord. That squeezes my shoulder and jogs back up to the stage. Everybody, we're down to the last act of the night. Now this person, who is my friend, is making their return after a long hiatus. Please welcome the formula, formula of the Communist Manifesto. Blorm, blorm. Even she is Damon Hugo staring at me in shock. Uh, everyone here, I'm going to be here. Thank you for having me. <clears throat> Great ground, um, my name is Lauren, you know my name. name. Father Freddy. <laughs> I saw them fucking hearts. Sit down at the piano. That's a lot of keys. What's so many keys? Many keys. God, these lights are really bright. Someone coughs. And yes, and you are. I'm going to beat me up, Scotty. Deep breath. How hard can it be? Oh, fuck. I gotta play a mini game, don't I? Just have to make it through this whole room. There goes nothing. What the fuck, dude? What am I doing? Oh, pick, pick it up, pick it up. Oh, oh. Singing that easy ska tune, unity, unity. Watch us fill up the room. Rude boys coming for you, take warning. If you don't skank tonight, it'll be alarming. Yeah, baby, I... Everybody, Ska, beam me up, Scotty. Beam me up, Scotty. Beam me up to the Ska Trek Enterprise. Yeah! Yeah! Play this bitch like it's a guitar. Bravo. I ain't done. The fuck you mean? Blood? I got an S. Good. I see a bunch of crowds shifting. Oh no. I'm losing them. Scar really is dead and I killed it. Every morning, y'all. Every morning, Scar. I get checkerboard tired. Walks and playing the guitar like and gives me a re reassuring smile as he effortlessly plays the chords to the song. Why can't I fucking read? <laughs> I look out and see the crowd go wired to Matt's appearance on stage. Everyone's bouncing now. It fills me with renewed energy as I, we jump into the chorus. Me and me up, Scotty. Me and me up, Scotty. Me and me up, Scotty. What the fuck is happening? Jack, Matt jumps on their improvised and that's way better than the one Darian <laughs> Springs that wrote in high school. Make it the end of the song, One Piece, and the crowd goes wild. I'm moist. That's all we need. Uh, practice screen. They all start chanting Matt's name. Matt, Matt, Matt. They want you want to hear me, man. Matt smiles. I ain't even gonna read you. I excuse myself on the stage and take my seat next to Matt as Matt cozies up next to the microphone. Take one in. That was pretty cool. I high five a man and we look towards the stage. You're every money. More cheers. I haven't played in front of people in a long time, but it's cool to be back. This one goes down to one good friend. Man locks eyes with me and we both smile. Well, me being able to do this again. Thank you. You know, all the one is just doing this and then dancing. So that's right, of me. In intricate melody! 
The crash ways to the music, Bubba! Matt looks entirely at peace with a small smile on his face as he sings. After he finishes the song, the crowd insists on an encore. He ends up playing a few more tunes to an annoying audience before thanking everyone for coming out. The moment he steps out, he gets mobbed by people. Everyone seems to be amazed that he's playing the game. David Jordan didn't talk to me. That was fucking amazing! But also, you're an idiot! It was certainly a sight. Do they make industrial dark wave ska? You know the only one that genre exists. We never truly stood a man in here and there. Glance back over to Matt. He's hugging a bunch of fucking people. I just want to fuck him. You need more than a young human play. Well, yeah, he hasn't played since he lost Rosa. You fucking idiot. What? I didn't realize it was something makes all of them so like yet. It must have taken so much to jump on St. Jimmy just now. The crowd slowly filters out on the street as I decided to stick around a little longer to see if I can talk to Matt. Hey, I'm taking on Carmen needs to get ice cream. Is it okay if she sleeps over? We're gonna paint our nails and start a punk band. Yeah, I don't give a shit. Yeah, no, I mean, you know what? We need burning truth about the government and one year ago. Don't worry, wipe them up figuratively instead. That works. Just fuck off. Amanda and Carmen used to bump it and then down there, but man, you know, come, 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 Matt has stack up chairs floor in silence to carry the stage equipment back to Matt's van where he bombs the most crowd of people out of his trunk. Shouts of the finest quality, every every step of production from thread to stretch overseen by your graphic sign king. Then he ends the yawning off your red bag and coffee spoon and Matt finished up fairly graphic Well I think I you know what we get kind of I'm going in my own yeah. All in all, it ended up being pretty cute. Man, you were getting you off from the young judge being the choir. You told me to try and do it down the road, and you're all gonna be trying to find me human for me to cry. Did you feel the odd neon neon neon? Y'all ever heard turtles fuck? That's kind of what they sound like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wrong fucking voice. Yeah, you really did, Squinty. I um, when you stop laying after <laughs> you have to get away, died. Uh, yeah. Man looks to the legs of him, but he's had getting it out. Take a deep breath. I'm not really a pimo person, you know, obviously. <coughs> Crowns make me nervous at all hell, which is um not exactly bad for that music. But when I was with Rosa, she knew I'm in the room. I can follow me. I mean, man, I mean, uh, even you know, you know, good you are. You know, you know. <coughs> 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 oh, I'm gonna lose my voice. No, it don't matter. I must keep. Going for Joe Obama. I try and plan for me over and over again, but the music would never come out, so I just gave up. This was the eons. Life wasn't scary when I had someone in my corner, someone I felt in with. I've lost my mouse. I'm having a big enough time. Tonight. What? night. Yeah, I'm just. Yeah. Blood rushes to my face. I was having fun. Apparently, he's just gonna have the same fucking voice as me now. I had to. Okay. I loved it. Man, that's really sweet, Matt. That's real fucking sweet. You're on your ankle, you me your ankle, whatever you find you or not. You got me out of my comfort zone, I'm you. 
And you want my help with that? I can do it here. I'm glad I'm going to help. You're coming out. I think you can take this thing out. I think you can do all the deals. Never even mean a lot to me. Oh, yeah. You mean a lot to me. Man, I lock eyes. And then he kisses me. <laughs> Quick and soft. He pulls away and covers his mouth. Yo, oh, Gion, I'm sorry. I'm all uh, sorry. I can't believe when you did that. Finally. Gay. Yeah, but I'm glad you need it. Our lips touch again. I brush his head and rest my hand on the snail of his back. Man pulls everything about him swings and this tastes like vanilla. He smells like coffee cake. Finally, gay sex. I can feel him smile through the kiss, which makes me smile. He laughs into my mouth to cap with life to our teeth knocking against each other. Ow. Mona, I realize we're still le we're still leaning against Maybe come in nice place this. Maybe you're right. Let's go back to my place. Finally, gay sex. Date complete. I'll 